Welcome back guys to Pinaka Crossover Market Market as your host. We're going to go straight up to some more NBA topics. NBA offseason, one of the big uh, acquisitions that happened. What are you guys' thoughts on LeBron? Like, what are you expecting to see from him? What was that decision? What did you think of it? Anything about that, <laughs> I want to know from you guys. Well, LeBron, any team LeBron goes to, it's instantly going to be like a... Like, well, contender in the sense. he used to be a championship contender, but mm -hmm. with this Lakers team... Mm -hmm. Maybe it'll they'll still go to the playoffs, right? They have LeBron. and it's West. It's a very deep yeah. team too. So it's what about you? Like I mean, it's do you think that with with the decision that he made, was it something out of you know a basketball decision, or is it more than that? Is it about his family too, or is it also so, about the side hustle, like you know his side businesses? There's a lot of things that you could look into. It. I've been you know trying to follow as much as I can. You could tell that LeBron. Going to the Lakers, he wants to win a championship there, but he'll, it, it's going to take some time. They're not going to win a championship year one. Maybe not year two, maybe year three, but looking at but it... But he's also going to be on the... His, his side hustle like, is, is talking Space about Jam. that too. Yeah, Space <laughs> Jam. We're talking about the shop with HBO. Uh, more of like other, other ventures that he's going to, like investments he's going to. He's going to live in LA. There's a lot of stuff he can get into within that whole city. Um, it's, that's one other aspect of, it, of this whole move. It, this is going to build up his brand even more, not just with, with Nike already, but with his, you know, directorial debut, uh, producing uh, shows, movies, and maybe even acting one day. Because his billion dollar contract with Nike isn't enough. So <laughs> it is got, it yeah, enough. You gotta go to LA. It needs more yeah. money. So to it's, conclude, yeah. it was more than just a basketball decision. Oh, it was, definitely. I it think was so. a whole, in, you know, a, a lot of factors. A whole life thing. It. And yeah. we're, not, we're, not, we're not excluding that he's, he doesn't love ba playing basketball. He's, no, no. he's going to love playing in LA for sure. But there are some things that you want to, it's, it's, it's a hobby. It's, yeah. a thing it's you, his hobbies, basically. A lot of things that you won't get playing in Cleveland. That's basically. <laughs> Sadly, yeah. no. And is, he's won a ring. So yeah. it's the, the, the desire isn't as much as when you're just yeah. chasing a ring. He did exactly what he promised them yeah. to do, which is win them a ring. And that's and he fulfilled his destiny at Cleveland. He he got them one ring, and which is something that the biggest accomplishment you can get yeah. in, 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 in just in Cleveland, Ohio, for sure, in, yeah. in general, right? So what are you guys thinking? What are you guys expecting from him to do this season? What is what are some of the things that you expect him to do for the Lakers? How far do you think he can take them? I think LeBron's still gonna play to that MVP caliber. Mm -hmm. And he's gonna make his teammates better, especially uh, the young guys, mm -hmm. Ingram, Ball. Mm -hmm. But yeah, they'll be hovering around the seventh, six to eight spot. That's, that's I think that's- That's a, how far I can take him. Yeah. yeah. I can see that. That's a pretty legitimate, I mean, reasonable. And there are, there are signs that he is gonna try to make sure that they maybe try to go for that championship, which I don't think they will, but they're gonna to try to make, for, make sure they get a make high- a push. Make a push for the playoffs and make, maybe a high seeded playoffs so mm -hmm. they don't try to get Golden State or Houston in the first round, but who knows. But you could tell, like, if you've watched preseason games, especially mm -hmm. that one other night, good. Golden State guys, Golden versus State. LeBron. That was good, yeah. yeah. I mean, LeBron and the Lakers, <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's, that's, that's just a sign of what's to come. Even though this is a preseason game, that, that was a bragging rights game. Mm -hmm. You know, making sure that, you know, I'm here, I'm in the West Coast, mm -hmm. I'm in the Western Conference, I could play with you guys. And it's going to be a tough time yeah. whenever we play four times, three times a year. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be very exciting to see what he does to help his team make that strong push and bring the Lakers back to the glory days, basically. Yeah, that's the kind of player you'd want to have, like, the Lake show once again, Yeah, you know? to bring the Showtime, showtime. Lakers, yeah. exactly. I mean, speaking of another free agent, what about DeMarcus Cousins? I mean, he's, his injury away, I mean, he might not be back until the end of the season. What does this, what does this do for the Warriors? Does this, does this assure them of a championship this year? What, is this, <laughs> what does it do? Like, what do you guys, what do you guys, I mean... What does it actually say about the Warriors? Do they even need him in the playoffs? They, they don't. They don't. They just are. When I first heard about it, I'm like, just cancel the season. Yeah. But he's like, he's injured. So mm -hmm. whatever that is. Yeah. Yeah. They, they so they have five All-Stars. Um, and DeMarcus Cousins wanted to sign to Golden State. I don't, they didn't really, I don't think they really wanted him because I believe they could. They would have done it without him either yeah, way. Yeah. I mean, if you if he asked, if he's the one that made the call, like Warriors would be like, hey, like we're good at home, but then a super. I mean, a super that came and called us. Hey, say he wanted to play for us when on a minimum sal. I mean, minimum cheap. veteran <laughs> salary. They're not gonna say no in that opportunity. Oh, right? of, of course not. Yeah. Um, it's just it's 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 gonna be interesting what he does when he gets healthy when he starts playing with um, some minutes. I don't think he should be a starting 
uh, center on the on the squad. Mm-hmm. I think he should come off the bench, give that give that good energy, you know, off the bench. But like, it's just scary either way. <laughs> yeah, man. who's coming off who's the bench? Coming off. Either way, if Iguodala is off the bench, I mean, they have they're Bell. Whole, they're just, loaded. Bell is just, has emerged as a good <laughs> role player to have at that center. I mean, uh, I've mentioned this before, but I feel like it was a win-win situation between the Warriors and and Demarcus Cousin because no one. He has to look at his future. He wants big money. He wants to get that mm-hmm. big contract. He couldn't get it to, uh, this season just because of that injury. ACL is uh, when you, I mean, Achilles injury. Yeah. It's tough to come it's back on. To, uh, so yeah, he, he's thinking of a way of who is the team that I can play for that would be, go f- very far into the season, past postseason, and allow me to play in the big games. So to him, he knows that he's not going to be able to be back fully healthy until maybe the end of the season. So if he goes to a team that doesn't, have that potential to you know go deep into the playoffs it won't be worth much because yeah. he won't be able to showcase that he's worth the max money with the warriors no pressure on him he can come back and like take his time the whole season and come back and then play in the playoffs where everything matters so if he does play well nba teams are gonna look oh yeah Marcus cousin looks like he's back mm-hmm. let's give him that big contract so Especially it's a win-win for them since there's uh rumors floating around that this could be durant's last year mm-hmm. as a warrior right yeah, exactly. so or clay thompson so like clay, yeah, if, yeah and clay yeah. thompson so if if if, if uh, demarcus cousin plays well for them and they are and win them help them win the chip that boosts up his trade of market value in for teams that are in the free agent market. So even if they lose Durant, yeah. they still have a chance to sign Cousins because they build yeah. that relationship yeah. And, yeah. and they help Cousins kind of get that trade of uh, his market value up just because of the fact that they gave him time to recover from his injury since they don't need him, right? A lot of teams, if they do mm-hmm. sign him, they would need him to come back right away and have to make an impact. Whereas the Warriors, he can basically take his time, learn how to play with you know, Warriors basketball and then be an yeah. impact. Yeah. When the playoff comes. I just want I want to look at the other side because I was nodding my head. I understand yeah. Mark's point. It's like totally logical, but you know, it, it's kind of selfish to Marcus Cousins try to it do is. that. You know, it, it, nowadays is a player's yeah. game, right? But it, like, it, he, even even if he could have took a a, a, few, a a veterans minimum or like even a little bit more with another team and try to come back, and he'll start. He's a a star either way when yeah. it comes back with like lesser players. Say for example, Atlanta. So he goes there, play with Trey Young, and he's he's building up a relationship with them. And then afterwards, he can go anywhere else. He's gonna get that match contract either way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I do understand. I don't think he will if no, but he I doesn't play until the end of the season and Atlanta doesn't make the playoffs. He didn't I, get to I understand play. your point that he, he like it's he still be, has to perform at some exactly. point. Exactly. So he needs a team that can get him far to the playoffs so he can actually has a chance to play. That's what I'm saying. He's a little bit selfish. He's trying yeah. to get the ring. Yeah. But well, it's not. It's I don't think it's the ring. I think it's the opportunity to play in the postseason. And he has to choose a team that can get him there without having to, uh, yeah. without having to depend on him, yeah. so that he can actually play and actually show that he's, a, you know, he's he doesn't have to get accumulated into the system. It won't take him that long. But in the Warriors, they already have a system that he just needs to kind of play along with, play the role mm-hmm. that he's in, and then and then if he can make a big impact to them without ha- you know, and ha- and give him that time to recover, that's better than him trying to go to a team and try to see if he can prove himself. Yeah. And then. But what if he's not back? Because Achilles injury is serious. It's like, very serious. Kobe especially, never came back Especially from for it. a big man like mm-hmm. him. Very serious. Oh, Rudy yeah. Gay never came back The bigger you are, the himself. harder it yeah. is to recover mm-hmm. from that. I mean, Kobe wasn't the same. Yeah. Chauncey Billups. A lot of players, that lo- Elton Brand wasn't the same anymore when yeah. he had Achilles injury. So it's a very scary injury. So mm-hmm. I think he's playing it smart. I think he has a really good... Uh, yeah, I don't know who is. Uh, it's a, it's a, it's a championship or bust for him specifically, mm-hmm. and we'll see what happens. And it, it is a good point that you know Kevin Durant, Clay Thompson. Who knows if they're going to stay yeah. in the Golden State or if they're going to go or small one of them. Gonna, they, I don't think they can afford all of them. They can't mm-hmm. afford all of them, and then that opens up. Say they don't have both of them. Demarcus Cousins, he's healthy. He's doing well. He's doing playing well, and then they bring him mm-hmm. over, so he gets a match contract. contract yeah. You know, either way, it's going to be a win-win situation, and then you know. It is a championship bust for that for Marcus Cousins individually yeah. for himself because yeah. he won't say they're gonna win a championship either way. Exactly.